feels like a good one. That feels like another good one. Yep, freaking kicker. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. The time's finally here for the last Oregon kayak bass fishing tournament of the year on the Willamette River. This tournament is a weird one. As you can see, we are in the garage. The Miami River is pretty close to home, so I got to sleep in my own bed last night. But yeah, this one's weird because I'm not honestly a big fan of this river, but I have a pretty good track record on it. In the last two years, we fished two tournaments. One was the championship, the Kayak Bass Classic with KFNW. We got third place finish there. And two years ago, we got a first place finish for OKBF. So our track record is pretty good there. But honestly, I never know what to spec every time. I got out to practice last weekend and man, the bite's been pretty stingy as it always is. So right now it's pretty hard to find fish that are, you know, 15 inches plus. We just got this weird fall transition right now where those fish are not sure if they want to be in summer pattern or jump in the fall regardless we're gonna go out there try to figure out and see if we can put a pattern together and hopefully we can get some of the right ones in the kayak my predictions for this event we got 42 anglers i think if you catch 75 to 78 inches that's probably gonna get you into one of those top spots but yeah follow along for today's journey we'll see what happens to see if we can put something together trying to hook up the kayak and trailer to the truck head over to the tournament meeting for the last tournament of the year before the championship. All right, good luck guys. guys we got to our starting spot but we got a lot of people heading down this way so uh, we'll see what happens we're just gonna have to fish around people and hopefully we can get the right bites doing it previous years i always had this area to myself all right here we go lines in see if we can make something happen huh now and last weekend there's definitely much less current that's not a good thing for this time of the year need a little bit of light and then should be getting bit usually this early it's not that good there we go there's one oh. Is that a squaw fish? It's a squaw fish, dang it. Not these guys again. Well, that's not good. Keeping them warm. Uh. Alright guys, 14 incher, number one. And the old swimmers, that's good. These guys in this river. Oh, 
tank to smoke it. I right, guess 13 incher. Gotta get bigger. Alright guys, well about an hour in. Got two keepers. 14 incher. Yeah, I would like to get rid of that. But definitely seller start than I anticipated. Doesn't help that there's a whole bunch of people here. We'll make it work. A little bit of fishing pressure is not the end of the world. We'll get through it, you know. One thing that I've learned is it doesn't matter if you're fishing behind somebody. If you're always throwing something different, fishing a bait differently. Just keep doing your thing. It'll work out. Some H worms. All right. Just gotta figure out what they want. All right, 14 and three quarter. need to get a limit first. 12 and 3 quarter. Alright, number 4. Not the right ones, but I think our opportunities will come at some point. Alright guys, 13 incher. Ooh, that feels like a good one. Come on. Please be a small mouth and not a squall. It's not even that good. What the heck? Oh man, I thought it was a lot better. Just been catching too many small ones today, I guess. <laughs> That's so weird. I don't even think he's gonna help. I don't even know what is my small one. What the heck? His mouth must have just been open the whole time. All right guys, I think I got to touch 13 and a half. See ya. All right, guys, we're gonna make a move. 10 12. You gotta pull up and give that area a break, and we'll head back down there. Maybe there'll be a late bite spot for some reason. It's like early morning, and then a little bit later in the day towards afternoon. So that's what we're gonna do. Apparently, we're in second place with two inches behind the leader. So we got some pulling up to do. Let's go see if we can get this done. We're getting out of here. No, this is just not happening.
That feels good. Oh, please be a small mouth. Yep, freaking kicker. There's our freaking kicker, boys. Two hours left. That's a freaking stud. Look at that. I gotta be an 18 incher. All right, here we go. Back in business. Oh, he's not even 18. Yeah, he might be. All right, guys, 18 incher. That's what we needed. There we go. See you later. All right, we can do this. Another one. Yeah, this is like another good one. Oh my god. We freaking found the spot, guys. We're gonna win this tournament here. This is how we're gonna do it. Back to back cast. Are you kidding me? What is going on? Boom, there we go. Back to back cast, 17 and a half. Let's do this. See you later. There's another one. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Can't be doing this now. There we go, there's another one. Not as big, but I think it'll pull. Maybe. It's better than what we were doing before. Alright guys, that should call 14 and a quarter. There you go. Come on, be a good one. That's a coal. There we go, guys. I'm trying to be patient. Oh, yeah, that fish was not coming off. Come on. Yeah, dude. All right, guys. 16 and three quarter. That coal might get us in the first place, but if not, it's closer. Thank you. All right, guys, update. Leading it right now. We need to coal a little bit more though. Smallest fish is a 14 and a quarter. We need to get rid of that. Let's do this. We got a chance. Just gotta be patient. We're gonna sit here the rest of the day. I don't care. I'm just gonna pick this place apart. Give them a little bit of a break. We can make it happen here. Oh. Dang it. All right, last cast. Oh, we got one. Last cast. I don't 
think it's big though. Nope. <laughs> hey, we got one on the last cast. That is cool. Well, that'll be it. Dude, I, I thought I was like last cast, and I was like, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen now. And then I dunk, I'm like, oh no way. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's a wrap for the Willamette River. Ended up finishing with 81 and a quarter inches, way better than what we're sitting at halfway through the day. 18 inch kicker, man, what a crazy little flurry at the end. So I'm making my way back to the launch, hit a spot, and well, worked out cold four times. Man, that was needed big time. When sandings went off, we were sitting in first. I'm going to have a feeling people were either sandbagging or the person that I passed ended up cooling up. So we'll see. Let's get the kayak loaded up, head the way in. We'll see what happens. guys we're back at home in the garage and as you guys saw we got second place that was definitely unexpected you know at 11 o'clock I honestly I wasn't sure what to do I started making my way back to the launch honestly thought about taking a nap but that's the reason why you never give up last spot of the day close to the boat launch and we got it done I mean we jumped we were leading it for a little bit but at the last second last 15 minutes one of my buddies, Michael Jarvis, he ended up calling and we lost by an inch. But nonetheless, what a way to turn the day around. This ended up getting me third in AOI for the year as well, which is crazy because I had two bad events. That qualified us again another time for the championship, which is super cool. And that's going to be the next one. But yeah, this is going to go on the wall with the rest of them. I really wanted to win this one. You know, at the championship last year, we ended up getting third place. And I won the event the year before. So we got close. But that's the way it goes sometimes. It's hard to get wins in these tournaments. And I got a lot of seconds and thirds that can contest to that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I know there wasn't a whole bunch of fish catches. But it was still fun to have a little rally at the end. This is not the last tournament of the year. We still have the championship at Door Shack Reservoir for the Kayak Fishing Northwest Kayak Bass Classic. That's going to be a fun one. Big small mouth. Hopefully we can whack them. And let's see if we can take the win in that one. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.